Here we are at the Aerodyme hydraulic bench. We're about to test an early style main gear actuator, the locking style actuator with a detent cylinder on the uh, on the back end of it. The Aerodyme test bench puts the unit under test uh, down at this end. Down at this end we have a large cylinder for purpose of uh, providing some bias load so that the cylinder under test doesn't react too quickly. Here you see uh, a spring simulating the spring assist present on the airplane which turns out is critical for the hydraulic operation of the actuators nose and main. So in this case we are spring assisting the retraction of the cylinder. Uh, because this is a main cylinder, it, re it uh, retracts uh, uh, to cause the gear to extend. So we are assisting extension with this, the spring in this case. Up at the top here we have the uh, controls and software used to run the bench. Over here you see the power pack, a big brother version of what's uh, in the uh, tail cone of your airplane. So we've got this uh, set up now to run the extension cycle to 1600 pounds and to run the retraction cycle until the limit switch is, le is reached. That would be the retraction of the actuator in this case until the limit switch is reached. We're going to run 44 cycles. We're going to dwell two seconds between and here we go. Okay, you can see here we're extending the cylinder to a 1600 pound limit and then we are retracting the cylinder until the limit switch is activated. You see the dwell time of two seconds countdown between the cycles. Overall, uh, the strokes are counted. Run in after servicing an actuator here at Aerodyme for leak check and operations check is 100 cycles. During the engineering phase, developing the new lock parts, uh, cylinder modifications, new improved pistons, new improved locking collars and spacers also uh, for the nose actuator. Uh, during that program, I ran the lock part, thus far, run the lock parts to 1100 cycles to simulate 1100 hours of operation uh, on the airplane. No defects found. I'm giving you a look now at the piston in the locking mechanism, you see the piston is there ejected during the actuator extension cycle, remains ejected during the retraction till the end. It just dropped into the lock. So in the case of the main actuator, we normally observe only two positions, the fully withdrawn and locked. Again, fully withdrawn. and locked.